Hey everyone, it's Brian. Let's take the Laplace transform of one using the definition. So remember that the definition of the Laplace transform of something is the definite integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus st times whatever the function is, in this case one, that you want to take the Laplace transform of, dt. Okay, well, timesing by one, that doesn't really do anything. That doesn't really affect this integral too much. So really, I just have to integrate e to the minus st. Well, any time that I want to integrate e to a constant times t, remember the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, or in this case, the integral of e to the x is e to the x. And you could do a u substitution to get what I'm about to get, but just remembering that I need to divide by the derivative of the exponent, just dividing by the derivative um, of minus st. And that's simply because of a, a u substitution I'm kind of glossing over here just for time's sake. And now I need to evaluate this thing from zero to infinity. And well, maybe since this is an improper integral, I should really say from zero to a or something and take the limit as a goes to infinity. So if I evaluate this using the fundamental theorem of calculus, this would be the limit as a goes to infinity of e to the minus s a over minus s minus plug in the lower limit, that would be e to the zero over minus s. And so now I just need to take this limit. Well, what happens as a goes to infinity? Well, this this numerator would tend toward e to the minus s times infinity. So to get the Laplace transform that you want, you want this to be a convergent integral. This piece is going to need to go to zero. Well, how do I know that that's going to happen? Well, I would need this to be like e to the minus infinity. That's only going to happen if s is positive. So I have to make this restriction, otherwise, um, if s were negative, this would be tending toward e to the positive infinity, which is infinity. But if I make this restriction, the numerator tends to e to the minus infinity, which is zero, which is what you want. So what are we left with? Well, e to the zero is one, and I get minus a minus would be a plus, so our answer is one over s, which is what you would get if you looked on a Laplace, tape, uh, Laplace transforms table. So, Moral of the story, the Laplace transform of one is one over s. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below and please subscribe for more math videos almost every single day.